Now, of course, on some computer controlled transmissions, if there is a code stored or if there is an adaptation problem where there's an engine load issue or a part of the transmission is beginning to slip, a strategy is to, to raise line pressure to overcome that slip or to tighten up on the shift adapt. Sometimes that begins to cause bumpy shifts or harsh downshifts, coast downshifts. Um, so what you would need to do in those cases as much as possible is to be able to clear the shift adapts and clear any codes, see how the transmission performs, see if line pressure dropped. You can notice those things with a gauge and even when you're driving. Now, if um, in this particular case with the 09G, we do not have a line pressure tap. All we have are clutch pressure taps. So when you're actually hooking up a gauge to say the K1 clutch, all you're looking at is the K1 clutch pressure, which when engaged should be line pressure. Now how do you know if, if that line pressure is low, is it because, or should I say if the K1 clutch pressure is low, does that mean that line pressure is low? Or does that mean we have a leak in the K1 clutch? Well, the only way that you can really make that determination is you would need to have a gauge, let's say, on the K2 clutch as well. Now, when the K1 and the K2 clutches are both applied, if they're both low, chances are line pressure is low. However, if the K1's low and the K2 is high, now you know that you've got a, a leak in the K1 clutch circuit. So you can begin to identify where your performance problems might be. It might be because you've got a leak in the K1 clutch circuit, everything related to the K1 clutch. So using a pressure gauge will help to pinpoint or identify what section of the transmission that you need to be looking at. And